Be time for a digital detox. It is not new information that we are addicted to our phones. My screen time recently has been at an all-time high, it's kind of scary to see, and we are just so overly stimulated. Considering the way social media gives us, this quick boost of dopamine is designed to keep you scrolling, designed to shorten your attention span. It is no wonder that I'm finding it harder and harder to concentrate every day. My phone almost feels like an extension of me. The thought of navigating day-to-day -day life without it honestly makes me a little nervous. So, I booked myself a little digital detox retreat at a cabin in the middle of the woods, no phone for three days, with the intention being to unplug, disconnect, and learn how to be more present in the moment. Enjoy the smaller, simpler moments and slow living. So join me for this cozy little cabin vlog. We're almost at our little cabin. Oh. But we're having a very naughty dinner. Time is 6.42. We wanted to get there before the sunset, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So I'm worried about us like parking the car. Cause you park the car and then you have to walk over to the actual cabin. Oh, well done bringing butter. I'm tired now. No screens. One here. Bring that shoe. Ooh. Yeah. Never miss me. How you might feel during your digital detox. A spark of anxiety. Mm. Scared. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I literally like jotted down some things I had to research. Sounds dumb. But anyway. I just feel better knowing I have that. Should we turn our phones off? Mine's already off. <laughs> I got in and I was literally like... <laughs> yeah, like, as soon as five <laughs> seconds in, she's like taking <laughs> selfies. Uh, this is gonna go really well. <laughs> it will as soon as I put this away. But so far I have, I've been on my phone. We're here till Friday. <laughs> Mochi's gone mad Mochi? already. Mochi's bored. Mochi will not stop crying. Mm. Like, because Will had to go back to the car to get some bits and Mochi was freaking out because it's just pitch black outside. But now you're back and he's still crying. Yeah, he wants to go and run out in the field, I he think. He wants to know where we are. But it's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be a dramatic reaction. Bye then. Well done. Oh, oh cute. Okay, so this is what we've got. Oh, cute. Film for... There's this um, camera. Oh, a camera, how oh, sweet. That'll be really cute. I love how they give you a little Nokia. Oh! Look, here's a Nokia. Compass. That's good. Map. Oh, the, oh key the key to the box. Bye! <laughs> we literally just realized we now have no idea of the time. Why isn't there a clock in here? Hemel taxis. Oh, oh, let's go to oh, the pub. Good. You're so upset. <laughs> under the willow tree the last weekend of summer Day one and we're not starting our day on our phones, scrolling. Do you feel anxious about that, like that you're disconnected? I know that it's a good thing, but yeah, my impulse is like check personal emails, maybe even work emails, just scroll through social, so yeah. Even the news. E yeah, like, the news I'm a big one for. And then today we have like uh -huh. no plans, little to no plans. We're just gonna go with it, which is quite nice. The 
sheepies are running away. Uh, how are you all wet already? This was such a simple but perfect morning. Not worrying about rushing, about coming up with an itinerary. Sometimes like you feel you have to do that when you're on holiday. Instead, just living in the moment, enjoying being in nature. It's not something we get to do a lot. And I noticed that I have gotten to a bad habit of constantly needing stimulation and multitasking. So whenever I eat, <laughs> I have something on in the background, whether it's YouTube, the podcast, and today it was just about enjoying the sound of nature and spending quality time with Will. I brought my yoga mat to get some stretching in if I felt like it. And I know this puts me in such a good mood. And instead of relying on a YouTube tutorial or flow, I actually just went with what felt right. This morning my mind felt clearer, I felt less anxious and just unburdened by the demands that come with our notifications. And even though I brought my camera, which you can call that cheating, I did have some digital involvement over the next couple of days, but I do want to touch on the spark of creativity I had being surrounded by such beautiful scenery and not distracted by Instagram or social media. When your mind is constantly shifting attention, it obviously becomes challenging to actually engage fully in what you're doing, especially when it comes to creative endeavors. I have been trying to get back into reading this year and I go through periods where it feels a lot easier and periods where it kind of feels like homework and there are a lot of other things I would rather be doing but I know reading's good for me. That's why I have always looked up to people who really enjoy reading as a pastime. So, so nice to feel that craving of picking up a book. And it's crazy what just 30 minutes of reading does to your brain, fully concentrating on one book in silence. I know for me, puts me in a really good mood. Got a fresh cup of coffee that Will has made from grinding coffee beans. That's something you've never done, right? No. First time. Tastes good. I am no barista. I mean, you made a cup of coffee, so... I think it's like 11-ish, half 11, around that time. Who knows? It's kind of a freeing feeling. Let me check the Nokia. Check the Nokia. That's our clock. 11.27. There you go, half one. Ooh, my inner clock is not bad. But so far this morning, I thought I would actually miss my phone a bit more. I genuinely feel okay, feel good. What was it you said that like you haven't actually sat down yet? Yeah. <laughs> this whole morning. Something was filling the space of not the phone. wasting 20 minutes scrolling. Like yeah. Up. Yeah, like as soon as we sat down on the bench, I was like, should we sort out the drone? Like, yeah. I don't yeah. know whether that's good or bad. Just always scrolling. having our phone. Like Some, you're doing something. You yeah. always have the <laughs> world of entertainment at your hands reach like, and what she's like reignited his love with the outdoors he's been running around like we've actually been a little scared watching him run around because he's so little like look at him right now he's like just wanting to go outside we're heading out on a little adventure yeah. going to one of the um parks areas that they recommended and we have a map we have literally just left like the farm area where we're staying we're already a little confused after like an hour we found the pup we made just a little pup <laughs> So it took us two hours to get back from the pub because we tried to walk back. It's meant to only be like half an hour, but we completely got lost. Neither of us know how to read a map. Went back to the pub, ordered a taxi. We're going to try light this fire. Okay, even though we got lost today, we have managed to light a fire. So I think that's pretty impressive. No. <laughs> Okay, 
we're going to make some s'mores. Digestive. There is a lot of good that comes from the digital world. It was built for a reason, right? Connection to community, learning opportunities, real-time communication, or like today, definitely felt it today when we were getting frustrated ourselves from not being able to work out where we were on this physical map, not being able to do something we rely on so much on the daily, which is pulling up Google Maps and just being able to immediately identify where we are. Our phones do make our lives considerably easier. But this evening, we didn't end up missing them at all. A typical evening routine in our home looks like watching Netflix for an hour or maybe even more, and then sitting on the couch, doom scrolling in silence until one of us retires and goes to bed. Instead this evening, having deep, meaningful chats, playing a game of chess brought a whole other sense of fulfillment and joy that I definitely want to incorporate at home. Good morning. I think it's around 9 a.m. It's day two or our second full day at least here. This morning's been so, so nice and chill. We were kind of worried about having Mochi up on this bed because it's really high, but seems like he's aware he definitely can't get down. And then Will and I we were just reading as Mochi was like looking out the window. This is his TV. It was very cute. But yeah, yesterday was a bit more of like an explorer day. Whereas today, I think just want to be chill because <laughs> yesterday actually I don't want to say it like flew by but it felt like a normal day it felt like a normal length of day and we did not miss our phones which is nice day I think we just want it to be way more chill so we'll go for a walk but we'll just stick around here because yesterday I said we totally got lost and yeah today should be sweet so far not missing my phone this morning at all And so here we are. For this day, we basically just read. We read, we hung out, we ate some good food, we went for a quick walk. And describing it like that kind of sounds like a boring day, but this is a day I'll remember for a very long time. I've never felt such a sense of like mental clarity, gratitude, self-reflection. And I didn't feel that anxious about missing what was going on on my phone, knowing that I can excuse it for a couple of days. Will actually finished his book. He was very proud. It's been a long time since he's done that. Whenever I'm trying to break a habit, like for example, going on my phone because of a sense of boredom, I find the key is to replace that bad habit with a good habit. Since being home after this trip, if I'm working away on a project that's kind of important but maybe a little bit mundane, instead of having my phone right by my side on my desk, I've actually replaced it with a book. So that when I feel like I need a little mental break, I can read a couple pages, maybe even a chapter. This has really helped to increase my productivity and also makes me feel a lot better about myself just with what I'm choosing to do with my downtime.
Good evening, everybody. I thought we could sit and have a little fireside chat. I don't have a second mic. <laughs> so just talk real loud and they'll, they'll hear you. Okay. How do you think this trip has gone? It's been really <laughs> enjoyable, yeah. Yeah, the unplugging has been a, a success. Uh, not sure how long I could stay unplugged for, but the two full days, yeah, it's been really peaceful. I actually read a book, read a book for the first time in years. I've gotten into reading a little bit more in the past year, but today's been so nice because we've both, I, I don't know, spent maybe a third of the day reading, just reading in silence. Because when do you get to do that? You know, even with your days off in normal life, you I don't know, I feel guilty like being that kind of unplugged or like spending all day reading or stressing about like, oh, I'm not making the most of my day. Whereas here, the point is not to make something of your day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've definitely been a lot more relaxed today knowing that there's no real set plan. And then you kind of just make things up as you go along. Like obviously we've had to film footage uh, for all this sort of stuff. So it's, yeah, been productive, a little bit of work here and there. But apart from that, it's just quite chilled. When we did go out exploring yesterday, I didn't feel as relaxed, you know, just cause no. it's, yeah. You actually said like you couldn't um, sit down cause it, yeah. ironically, it's kind of like, oh, there's so much to do actually because your time isn't taken up by just being on your phone. Today, we went out just literally to this field and we went for a walk and that was really nice. Just not put pressure on the day at all. It's so nice. I definitely, I swear to God, I could do this for a couple more days. I think for me, there is anxiety when I think about actually turning on my phone tomorrow and I feel like, because my job is on my phone, it's all just a little unpredictable. But, but at the same time, you'll turn your phone on and the world wouldn't have ended. What, what, what do you have to say about it? But yeah, an amazing trip. And I was saying to Will earlier, I was like, this is something I definitely would do like once a year. my go-to dinner, always. Look at it in the car though. Okay. And seven thousand hit points. There it is. Kill. <laughs> there you go. 